Good morning, hello everybody, welcome along. Let's get the bird song on. Do do do. So we're doing a hair today. I had a tattoo of some rabbits on my head because from a distance they look like hares. Right. I'm losing it. I've, I've, so if I have if I have tattoos of rabbits here. They look like hairs. Yeah, have you got news for Rick for once? Oh, I yeah, have. Hang on. How are you doing, Christine? Oh, I'm doing very well. Yourself? All right, thank you. Pascal's okay. this morning, I yeah? Tried to, I tried calling you, but I'm not Oh, yeah. Well, because I don't open till 10, officially, yeah. I, I often am um, up here stuck on other yeah, things. No, I've, I've been disturbed for a long time. <laughs> A new lady. Yeah. Well, Christine isn't new. Christine comes to our Monday morning classes with Marie. All right. So that's nice. Have I got a princess of a hair? Spare hair. <laughs> right. Let me do me bit. What colours have I given you? Brown, green, brown, and yellowish, ochre, yeah, yeah. lemon yellow, and then you can have a little burnt. Yeah, have you got a black in there? Yeah, the white one. Oh, that black. You have to definitely got a black and a white one. Yeah, the cotton bud. Yeah, you can't forget the cotton bud. Only one last week. Yeah. I could lots of cotton. Thank you, Barry. You set for. Spoil them. I've given them two cotton buds one week. That's what they expect every week. Yeah. <laughs> You're so dim. What divas you are. <laughs> We're artists. I, I refuse to work without my cotton bud. Oh, Spice Ball, that the the Bambering District show will be, but the RT one won't be, because I'm not running that anymore. Well, it's too much for no money, and artists are so ungrateful, and they don't turn up, or they don't, you know, they let you down, and then they complain all the time, and it's just not, it's not worth the hassle. want two cotton buds or nothing what's a good alternative a green paper cake what have you got have you got browns or oh i've got a customer as well don't say i'm gonna have to run downstairs um any any dark color will work browns greens or even you could get away with blue but brown would be easier back in a minute Yeah. 
his installation in Caltactus on the stairs. Oh, wow. So it was going, yeah, I was there. Oh, dear. And the bloke's quilter. It was quite good. I think it was good because she wears like a long coat and she has to go. And the heels. stood on the back of her coat and she had to go upstairs. It was just like that. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. Sort of put you carrying anything up them stairs, didn't it? It's a bit nerve wracking. Yeah. I'm back. <sighs> no Jackie yet. Dark grey, yes. Dark grey's fine. <sighs> it's a long way, wasn't you? Oh. Well done, you. We used to have races, me and Roger, when there was nobody in the cellar. And we used to start from the cellar and run right to the top, touch the tattoo door, and run right the way back down again. I would win, of course. Who would just send that in falling chair? Oh. oh Do you know, I've put that handle up yeah. now. Because it's an extra one to grab because that is right at the spot where she fell and I think um, had that handle been there she wouldn't have she's about to put me I was um, just asking if she um, goes on the Monday the Monday morning yes well at the moment she's not because she's had to have an operation oh. But um, she normally comes on a Monday morning and a Friday afternoon. Ah. Oh, right. I think I'm back. Okay. So I've got... I'm working on the the cool colours pad today because I couldn't... There wasn't a dark enough green or some, something that I got in the, um, in the other pad that we normally use. But I thought this was quite nice. It's a lovely moss green, isn't it, this? Yeah. Almost looks black on the telly. Let me enlarge the screen for those in the room. Well, what am I doing? That's the one I want. Huge! I had awful envisions that it was actually a rabbit, but then when I looked, it is a hare. I thought I've said it's a hare, but I think it's a rabbit in the photograph. But it's not, it's a hare. Yeah, and the shape of the eyes, I think. They've got oh, much, right. much bigger bulbous eyes, haven't they? I like, I like, I like hares. They're very in at the moment. I live next door to three alpacas. You should, where I live, I've got three neighbours. I've got a brown one, a white one, and a black one. Oh, you go and talk to them? No, because they're, they're, I have to, you can't get close enough to them. I'd have to go on my next door neighbour's farm. I'd probably get run over by a Land Rover or something. No, my luck. But uh, my landlady, she used to call them her boys. Her boys. But apparently they can't use the um, the wool off them because they roam wild. And to, to sell um, alpaca wool there's real restrictions they can't go near hedgerow or anything anything that will taint their wool they won't use them um so it, it's it's quite um quite prescriptive how it works so our little hair he's not so little he's going to fill the whole page isn't he yeah. fill it all I'm gonna. Oh, do you know what? I haven't got a yellow ochre white pencil for me. Let me. Um, I've got a brown. Let's sketch him out now. You could use um, either the brown or the ochre um, for the pencil. I've just got to print me off a hair. If only it was easy to print hair off. I'd have done it a long time ago. I can't get caught in a crosswind anymore. <laughs> so do you like doing animals, Kat? Or do you not know? Have you done many? I like drawing them. But I'm a bit worried. How to actually the pastel case. them. Yes, 
This is. Yeah. Well, that's good answer. Good answer, Christine. Good answer. Let me just log in and see if I'm. I don't want to miss any comments because I've seen there's a few of you online this morning. Right. So we'll work out roughly. We'll do a bit of measurements now. You can use your brown um, or the ochre colour to sketch this. I've got to say. Um, hopefully this month we will be getting in the Caran d'Ache pastel pencil stand. Ooh. They don't do blocks anymore. Now the pastel pencils are expensive. They're about £3.45 a pencil. But I've got a sample of one here. So you can try it. On the back of your paper maybe or something. Just so you can feel how soft. They're the softest. Oh, that is Blendiest ones I've ever seen. So we get the this whole one's stand. Like quite hard. Yeah. Well, this is different than the ones I've got. Isn't these it? are Caran d'Ache ones, so we, oh, we haven't yeah. sold these yet, but they're sort of creme de la creme. You'll like them. Coming your way soon. Yeah. Have a try that. Soft and buttery. Look at that face. Yeah, I know. You can tell, <laughs> Isn't it nice? Oh. They're soft. It's it is. They're really soft good. and blendable, but they, they're really good for sharpening as well, apparently. So, um, good, really oh, high pigment good. load. So, we're getting, I think, no. I think we're getting about 70, a standard 70 colours. Wow. Um, I, I was toying with the idea, and I thought you might get some of the prize. For, for what for putting up with me no um but it was either watercolor pencils or pastels pencils and they said the pastel pencils are more popular and i said well we are doing pastel classes now so yeah. it makes more sense to do more pastel related things so let's work out our little hair so i'm going to measure in my hand as i normally do about four fingers down is the top of his head not his ear so I'm going to sketch that in. So you can do this with me. About four fingers down, actually, and four fingers in. Uh oh, it depends how dainty you are. You might need a bit more than that. So four fingers down. Well, I'm using the ochre so it stands out more for you to see. But you could do it in the brown if you wanted. Um, and for me, his head is about three fingers wide. And I'm going to do it as a bit of a... How deep is it? Two fingers deep three fingers wide roughly and we'll just do it like an egg we draw an egg we're heading towards spring so that should work just an egg <laughs> I suppose well, it would, yeah, too. well they do that, don't <laughs> yeah. they? It'll be the ears yeah. that give it away. I, I think I've given it, you know, the longer muzzle. Yes. Anyway. We'll see, well, this is just a guide. It does rub out, it does. Um, and then I've got a little finger gap underneath that, which is sort of where his neck is. Just about a little finger or a pencil width. Because he comes out slightly more, doesn't he? He's got, um, now to me, he's about, oh no, that can't be right. Because that's four fingers in. It's about three fingers and a pencil. Three fingers and a pencil. So it is, it comes out, it comes out about there. At that point. 
and his chest is slightly wider than his nose at that this section here so if we do that you could do that as a ball almost um, so it's about four fingers wide and you could do that ball about almost four fingers deep I guess let's make it a little bit bigger I'm being very loose and free oh I tell you what I haven't given you out you've not got your putty rubbers oh I like the confidence <laughs> <laughs> it's handy to have but not to rely on and then about another two fingers down it comes in a little where he's got a little tummy see it doesn't look like a hair at all no. meerkat, his, his arms are out in a different way to a meerkat we'll look at his yeah. arms in a minute and then about another three fingers down and out we've got his feet that's his bum and then it will come back out again level with his chest for his hind legs because he's sitting in a funny thing now the good thing is we've got a lot of grass that we can hide his legs in but they are it does kind of come out and a that's they've got big feet his feet from here or well his one foot is at least two fingers out that's massive isn't it compared to their heads Suppose they've got to run haven't they mm. they got to run I'm going to bring his little body in there like that let me move that up a bit so that's his little tummy And about three fingers in, we've got his other hind leg. Here. Dark grey would look quite nice, actually, Kate. I'm just um, thinking of your... Um... Oh, that would be nice, Marie, yes, for you to have a look at um, the pastel pencils. I don't know when we're getting them. We've ordered them. Um, we ordered them on Friday. So they they may well be here by next week. We've just got to work out where on earth to stick it. It's not a huge stand. No, not there. Um, it's not a huge stand, but it will be quite nice. So then if we've got about two fingers for a foot, it'll be like that, but I'm going to cover him in grass. So this is just to give us a very rough, idea of everything his front paws are four for me four fingers long and they sort of come out at an angle from from here so if you imagine that's his his upper arm from there it comes out about four fingers wide one in it and then he's got another one a little bit longer <coughs> it is but the, the 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 hardest thing is just getting it in situ the uh, the filling in is is much easier maybe so we'll work on his head and his ears Once we've got that, so it, you want it to feel like he's because he's he's up like that, isn't he? And he's stretching, yeah. So it needs to feel more stretched. So there's his nose. We've got that. His eye comes in about a thumb width in from the back of his head, and interestingly, a thumb width in from the middle of his. From, the, from his nose so it's almost smack bang in the centre 
and for me it's the size you could draw around a pencil end because he's got a big eye it's almost like a little wooden puppet of a <laughs> hair or heart was it hartley hair in the 70s and 80s hartley hair a puppet and his ears are three fingers tall nearly for me that i mean that's quite mm, slightly less than three fingers um so we've got one ear one ear ear and then his back ear is actually quite a bit wider a little bit straighter that could be a a hair couldn't it you can't see his tail that's in the grass I don't know if that that should come out a bit more his shoulders are a lot taller actually his top of his shoulder it is it's amazing isn't it it's th I suppose they've got to have a lot of power to um Yes. Be yeah, and move around. Yeah, because they're big, aren't they? Hairs. I I saw one when I went on a walk during lockdown, and they are, um, you know, two three times the size of a rabbit. They're big. Yeah. Biggies. Do they? I'm going to give him a bit more of a pronounced bridge on his nose because I think that that that's what helps define. I nearly called him a deer. He's not a deer. He's a he's a hare. We're not doing deer. another customer Jackie should be here at 10 o'clock so I don't quite know what's gone wrong I will I'll, I'll be back in a minute
Yeah, of course, yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. 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 Right. So now we can faff about with the background. Now we know where he is roughly. Roughly. Faff about. That, that's how creative we are this morning. We'll faff about. What, faffing? No, oh, never. No. Hello, Roger. Nice that you're with us. I, I spotted that you'd um, that you'd booked on, so that's really nice. So there is a lot of light and dark in this, and I'm not sure how much I want to put in because you can see he's he's in shadow. There's something on the right, isn't there? Casting a shadow across him. So I'm, I'm trying to find a nice greeny colour that's not too <coughs> opposite, if you like. What's this? That's Well, that'll stand out enough, I think, to do a bit. So that almost comes to his chest, that light. It looks like there's a roadway in the distance as well, but I'm not going to bother with that. Just going to put on a little bit of light 
bit of green. And I'll smudge with my finger because there's not really a landscape behind him as such. And also, if we do too much, I'm not sure it'll it will detract. So that that's what to do if your hair goes wrong. Do a really complicated landscape behind. <laughs> not that it will, and I'm not planning. But it's always good to have a backup plan. Just a little bit lighter in that distant area. A bit of green. Because it has to go more out of focus as well, doesn't it? The further back we go, because the hair is the focus. I've got a lovely green finger. It's the only time, because I'm rubbish in the garden. I'm going to switch to the pencil and just do a few little lines you could use the edge of a pastel if not I'm not pressing down hard is it it's quite is it I thought I'd pick the same one out darker green. Well, actually, that's quite a nice colour. That's an ice colour, that, isn't it? Mm, that's a bit of a bit of grass. Do a bit of grass. He looks quite alert and cute. <laughs> he's happy, he is. <laughs> I imagine they're quite grumpy and aggressive. <laughs> There's a few little tufts. I'm not going too far back with any tufty bits. I mean, there are more shadows across the the right, but I don't know if I want to put that in. Oh, wasn't it sad about Shirley Hughes, the illustrator and author, yeah. passing away? Yes, yeah, so she was in the nineties, but um, every kid's read Alfie or Dogger or one of those. And especially poignant because it's World Book Day today, and um, oh, yeah. and she passed away yesterday. <laughs> Doing a few slightly darker green bits in here. I might put some light green tufts in the grass, but you know when you've got shadows and there's occasionally just a little bit where there's just a hint of light, and you can use your your brighter green pastel for that. there is a fine line between is how much to put in and how much to 
miss out. <coughs> I might do a bit of brown at the back. Um, brown pastel. A dark. Um, you use your lime green, but very, very delicate. Um, hardly any pressure. But what I want to do is I want a dark brown towards the back, just to maybe tone it in a little bit more. So I'm using my finger to get a bit of the tone in. Nearly cup of tea time. So I've still got quite a lot of my green showing through in lots of places. Really dark brown, yeah. I've got more on my finger than I have on the pastel now. <laughs> Put little bits of brown in. And I'll shove a bit of grass in front of it, but. Give it a little bit of texture. Because what you want to try to not get is the green looking like it's going around the hair. You know, because otherwise it will look like paint by numbers in a way. You want the hair to look like he's in front of a solid green line. Um, so I might just... Um, blend the green in towards his body a little bit more but by not putting loads and loads of layers on which is why a darker toned paper is better whether that be I mean blue would even a dark blue grey would work as a background anything that's darker than the hair I've done a little hint of brown well because it looks like a roadway or something in the distance and I don't want to put him by a road we want him to be a bit safe hmm? it could end very badly it would be who's the quickest Don't want, don't want to go crazy and any grass in the foreground because you can see there's quite a few bright green tufts in front of his legs we'll leave that until we've done the hair I think that's the the better option so I can still see the outline that I've drawn of my little Harry the hair. Right. If I was going to do a moon gazing hair, I'd do it on a dark blue 
background and maybe make the hair slightly smaller so I've got space for at least a, hi a hint of moon. But this is a, a hair out in the daylight. Hair today, gone tomorrow. So we'll definitely be posting when we get those pastel pencils arriving. Because I think um, I think we're going to get a few sets as well. But most people would probably want specific colours of pastel pencils. Because um, the luminance ones that we've got down there, the colouring pencils, they're like really light, fast, high quality. We've sold quite a lot of those over the last year since we've um, added them. It's very interesting with Karen Dash, and I, I've, I've probably said this a few times, we, we've had to sign a contract selling them to say that we won't sell them cheap online. So it's to make, to level the playing field, to stop, you know, people buying them in bulk and then selling them cheap. Um, it also, yeah, um, it also means that places like the Range or Hobbycraft won't sell them because they only want to sell them to discount them. Um, and they're such good quality products, Karen Dash. Really good quality. Koinor, yeah, they're yeah, nice. Yeah. Koinor is wonderful. It's a good brand. Been around a couple hundred years, Koinor. Yeah. I can't remember where they're based. I'll have a quick Google. Yeah, we we do a few Kowinor products. Named after one of the world's largest cut diamonds. What the the diamond? I don't, let me have a quick look. Let me see. Uh, yes, it is. It's part of the crown jewels, the Koh i Noor. It's um, one of the oldest stationery companies in the world, based in Czechoslovakia. Oh. Koinor Hartmuff. Sounds sort of oriental, doesn't mm. it? 1790 founded. Mm -hmm. So you've got Koinor, um, round about the same sort of time as Dale Rowney and Windsor and Newton over here. So it's all late 1700s I like giving you little facts yeah. how you doing Kath? no I don't know I'm just doing my own thing really guys if I get if I get behind you it's okay but I'm fine I'm being I'm being slower today I will do his eye. Oh, I never sharpened my little. Look at that! I cut my hand. Oh. I was putting a canvas in a bag for a lady, and I jabbed it on one of the corners of the screen things oh, that we've got downstairs. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? We'll wait until we get the Karen Dash ones. I won't. <laughs> I'll be on the, I don't know, somewhere in the Caribbean. 
teaching online classes after I've sold all of the pastel pencils to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen. Yeah, absolutely. Right, I'm going to colour his eye in in ochre. I'm not going to blow any of the stuff away. And I want to slightly darken around the edges. So this isn't the eyeliner that we'll put on because he's got a bit of eyeliner on. This is pastel pencil brown just to give the eye a bit of depth. So I'm just blending in a bit of brown around the edge. Just a little. And then he's got his eyeliner in black. They've got very um, weird shaped pupils, by the way. They've, they're they not fully elongated, but they're also not round. Look at that, we've got an eye. Is heavily eye lined. And you could use a white pest pestle pencil if you wanted to have just a little bit of light in there. Oh, I've, I forgot about the green. Look, my hand's all grassy. I've got grass stains on me hand. <laughs> so hopefully this is where it'll start to look like a hair. <laughs> we can we can but try yeah. I'm going to use the, the darker grey just to do um, a few little strokes so it's not a solid line the dark brown to just give me a slight definition now of our hair then it's very coarse isn't it the, the fur of a hair it looks coarse anyway coming from Dudley I wouldn't know about anything coarse <laughs> <laughs> So now we've got to get him to look in front. And if I smudge this grass anymore, he's going to be an alien hair with a green hulkish tones. Hulky hair. That's what I'll call him. I don't think he'll be an extra in um, Watership Down. Made my brother cry, that film. 
my favourite in the original film is the seagull when he swears and tells them to go away. I love that as a child. It is. They did a, 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 a an animated series on Netflix during lockdown. Very, very well done. Because I do love a cartoon. I'm like a big kid, really. Oh, I, yeah, I... My, I used to laugh at my mum all the time because she'd cry at adverts or anything. And after losing both my parents now, I find I'm exactly the same now. I can watch just a little mini video of on, 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 on Facebook about a dog that they found and then they rehabilitate and I get a bit emotional about that. I'm, I'm usually more emotional about pets than I am about people. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Oh. And I just can't stop it. Really? Oh. It's a snowman in the building. Oh. Put a bit more. He has got quite a small head, though, in, in comparison to his body. Because he's, he's all legs, isn't he? Yeah. Like me. <laughs> I've got really short legs, I have. My waist is wider than my legs are long, but they've always been that way. Because I've only got a 31-inch leg, inside leg, and I've, I, you know, even when I was really skinny, I had a 32-inch waist. <laughs> that makes me quite sad. I'm still, I'm still in the no, 30s. Ladies are keeping quiet. <laughs> That's my mum always used to say. I'm not overweight. I'm just under tall. <laughs> She's only five foot one. My mum. She'd have been seventy eight yesterday. Yeah, Dad would have been eighty on Saturday. Gosh. How the time flies. So I'm using the brown to give it a bit of more form and shape where I want things to be. You know, I think his his tummy comes under there, and that's all thigh, isn't it? That that's thigh, not tummy. That looks like his tummy line there. But that gave yeah, him whopping like great big thighs. Pelvis, yeah. yeah. But that makes his thigh too long. Like, that's something got to be wrong. Is he, he's not sitting with his bum on the grass, is he? He must be sitting. Not look, I'm only going to add that. Look, I think that is his leg there. Then that's grass. Then that is leg. I do. I think that is the. Now I'm looking at where his belly is. Are we aiming for photorealism today? Or just anything that vaguely resembles a hair? An illustrative hair? I've already made an impression. <laughs> impression of a hair? <laughs> what, you're going to be bouncing around the room? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I was quite lucky to see that hair when I went on a walk because it was a really sunny day and he was in the middle of the lane but because they've got such sensitive smell and hearing I was quite a way away I was yeah, a couple of hundred yards away yeah. and he was off but I, I think I scare them more it is, I do um, Ah, now Marie has just said she thinks his missing foot is coming more towards us let me try it. Let me rub out with my finger and let's see if that would work. Yes, it really does, look. Yeah. Would it come like that? Oh, that looks better. That's more, yeah, because of that getting a big place on Yes. Or yeah. well, maybe I'll stick it there. I'm going to shove grass on it anyway, so it doesn't really matter where I stick it, as long as it's attached to his leg. 
So I've got grass under his bum. There's a bit of grass there. I think you're right, Marie. But you're right, I think it is a privilege. I once, um, living in the countryside, my next door neighbours, I don't have a garden, I just have a tiny little yard. Um, and I've got a bit of gravel and where I put the bird feed. And my next door's got quite a big garden that's raised. And I saw a tiny little shrew running along. A tiny little, it, ta it was tailless, so I knew it wasn't a mouse. Oh, and it was just, just like, just darting about the garden right by me. And I, I thought, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, and then another walk during lockdown in the summer, I'd, um, uh, late spring lockdown, I was walking through a field and all of the butterflies had hatched and, and honestly it was like a dream. They were all, I think, tortoise shell yeah. and they were all just flitting about around you. It was it was the, the, at least 70 to 100 butterflies just... Yeah, but you can see it's nice though, can't you? Because you've got the sky. Oh, do you know what? Lockdown, the birds were louder, the, everything seemed greener, didn't it? it, it oh, it was nice. And I had more time on my hands for walking and. <laughs> oh, how big a kangaroo we is? I don't think we're that big, but um, you could always put a little pouch and a joey just popping out. Uh, Kate, have you got a scrap bit of paper? I'll show you a trick. If you put a scrap bit of printer paper, you can lean on. Let me let me tear off some of this. These are my printouts from previous lessons. Sorry, this is from yesterday morning's class. I do take your point. I should have mentioned the paper trick because we've never needed to do this before. Yes. I was just trying to think, how could you get emotion in an eye? I, I could, oh, I can show you. If I put a little bit of white, just there, it tends to feel a little bit more. So the above his outline. So you should find, Kate, if you do that with the... Um, with a bit of paper it should work now I'm trying to find a nice biscuity brown colour for my hair Actually, it's 11 o'clock. Before we do this, should we have a cup of tea? Are you? Is this a good break? Oh, yes, please. 
tea, yeah, tea, tea. Um, gin. <laughs> can I have a cappuccino, please? You can. No drinks. Would you like it? They're one pound fifty. The hot drinks downstairs. Oh, okay. What do you want? A tea. If you want I your tea. Two things. Yeah. So two teas and a cappuccino. I need. Do I need to pay to my tea coffee when I go down? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've never paid. Oh, have you I've not? Been <laughs> have you not? No, no, no. I thought it was included in the price. <laughs> no, no well, they're not included. You're quite about that one, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will pass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Honestly. No, we don't include them. Only because they've been two separate businesses. When it's on an eve, even when we used to do the evening classes, we had um, a, jo a jar for donation. But that's okay. She's never, she's never said that you haven't. Pound in the balance, please. So just, just, just write you a check out for yes. a couple hundred quid. <laughs> oh, well, you can't win them all. You have to go to confession now. <laughs> well, I shall, Bob, but I'm not going to worry over it. But I do, I am embarrassed. Oh, she doesn't so need to be embarrassed. Do you know what? <laughs> Kathy actually gets customers, because her customers don't pay until they yeah. leave. Yeah. And she's had customers walk out and then three days later come in and go, yeah. We just had a big we had a big meal with you the other day and we haven't really? paid. She said, Yes, I know, but I knew you'd come back. So she's we're all very fluid. I had a couple come to art history class and they didn't pay. And I, we said oh, we'll we'll pay at the end. And then they went home. And then nearly a week later they come in and said, We didn't pay, did we? And I went, No, we didn't pay. And they went, Okay, we'll do it now. We didn't think we did. Honestly. Cappuccino two teas. Yes. Missed me slot. He's popping. He's popping. Got to come out of that corner.
Yeah. 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 It's really weird seeing them on the big screen. I thought the big one, I thought Top Gun Maverick was it, but it's not. Oh, it's not Top Gun. It used to be great. Now it looks like it's gonna be like Top Gun Maverick. Now it's gonna be like Top Gun Maverick. Um, some series have been banned from Sky Showtime. And the new one is how it's great to me. He, he, he steps around and his audience is really tall. Oh really? Well, it's really good for him, isn't it? He's really squeezed himself, but um, I used to go to an art class in Bobbycook. Um, what building did you used to go at? Um, the Churchill. In the church. Yeah. Used to be a school for Bobbycook years ago. Yeah. And that was. When we do the fur, it's literally hairy. Yeah, we're doing a fur. Mind you, you can't see much body hair there, can no, you? No. It's very difficult for the hair to put its fur on, but you can't really see much. That's a nice back wall. When space is limited, the centre has to say, Oh, I've got these outer colours. Yeah. But it's kind of keep leaving everything there. Yeah. Well, maybe because you've got a body piece about six centimetres. Yeah, it's keeping all the photos. I changed the drawing a couple of times two or three years ago. Yeah. And it was Pat. absolutely panned. You gave me claustrophobia, really. Yeah, and it was like. When it was yeah. like a big square, yeah. everybody was trapped. Yeah. This is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a proper mm. bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not the sandwich. Is this true? Well, like an added tribute kind of thing. When I was about two. Oh, well, you wanted to be like the blonde one with the long hair. I wanted to live with Babbage oh, on the ground. And with curly hair. Thank you very much. And this green. Thank you. At the time that I wanted to be yeah. in an added oh, tribute band, you. I was blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have very long hair. <laughs> no, I was quite blonde. Yeah. Who's it like? I know it doesn't look like I was ever blonde now. I'm a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
breakfast. Yeah. I just oh, I just right. started off with baby. Oh, I see. Yeah, um, bald and then blonde and then. Yeah. I started off ginger. And I'm still ginger. It's gone darker now. I've gone more chocolate Labrador. I started off very dark. Yeah, I agree. Very dark. One of the boys was still very blonde. Really? Yeah. Right, I'm going to pop on his little fairy. Well, I'm just going to give him a bit of colour with this. You might get your cotton bud out in a minute. So I'm going to give him a bit of colour. Well, this is I am maybe. Are you supposed to give him all the colour and then blonde with the shade and then highlight? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna smudge in a little bit with my cotton bud. We love a good cotton bud, don't we? Jackie, before you got here, I had a complaint. I'd, I'd only given one cotton bud each and they're used to two. And this is like their rider. <laughs> we won't come to class unless we have Get two, two cotton buds. <laughs> we need two cotton buds. So, of course, I obliged because I'm like that. So I'm going to do a bit at a time. So, if I go in then with the darker brown, that should give me a bit more shading with the pencil. Is the paper trick helping you, Kate? Online, online, we've got Kate, that's okay. <laughs> it's not all about you, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. Honestly, these these real life students think it's all about them. They forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're quiet, isn't it? You can't hear them. <laughs> she does draw. Yes, it yeah. is. It is that, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Kate from dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh, dear. <sighs> oh, do you know we haven't heard off Doris all this year? Oh, yes. No, no, I haven't heard from her this year because she was coming to the drawing classes. But yes, there was there was a faux pas. I've just done his head and neck. Uh, she made a faux pas when we had some visiting American cost, uh, students oh, yeah. and, and she said a word that's a rude word in America but not a rude word over here and um, and they found it hysterical So how are you feeling about an animal now, Kath? Um, I've lost his edges now. He's not very edgy. No. But they're just not lost. But you can put them back in again with the pencil, you see. As long as... And that's why we're not putting in um, loads and loads of thick pastel today. Because you need it to be much thinner in order to help the... The pencils move over. They've all tried the pastel pencil uh, from Karen Dash, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Kath was like a face. Yeah. She melted with the pastels, okay. and she's thinking that she's going to have to now sell the, sell the house to buy some pastel pencils. <laughs> um, he's got like an eye bag. And then it gets a bit paler with the ochre or a bit of white more like, really. He's got like a little bit of whitey cream around his eye. I do paint hairs a lot. I, I, I like hair. Yeah. I imagine you like hairs, Kath. I do. 
Okay. Yeah. I like having fun though. I work for public uh, spotlights with my new habitat. Oh, do you? Oh, God, yes. Because you've done the Kingfisher now, haven't you? You I did the Kingfisher. My, my best ever. Do you know, everybody did a cracking job yeah, of that Kingfisher, that didn't yeah, they? Yeah. They really did. And I, I was, I was very surprised because it was a very tricky because it wasn't doing kingfishery things, was it? It was just sat on a branch. So yeah. to get the kingfisher looking like a kingfisher, everybody did such a good job. So I'm interchanging between uh, light bits and dark bits using the ochre and the white, dark with the brown. Yeah, I'm, I'm using a dark brown pencil. Um, you see, this, this colour I'm using for the hair's body is a bit like a brick terracotta colour in a way. You could go a bit darker, to be honest. But because I'm not putting a lot on, the dark green underneath is um, helping somewhat. I will use a bit of black or something later on as well uh, for in his ear. And his ear tips. Have you spotted his whiskers, by the way? Oh, they're very, very fine. So that's going to be quite challenging. Will you be able to email the photocopy people? Oh, yeah. This morning, yeah. since they replied yeah. and say it's not worked. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I left it off for ages. I turned it off on there, yeah. turned it off on the side. And that's what's printed off. I don't know if you can see if it looks any better than the... Yeah. Yeah. You're a bit blind. <laughs> Which one did I print off? 2021. So that's yesterday's. Mm -hmm. And that's this morning's. No change. Well, it's not really ideal. So I'll work on his face. I'll just get his head. Let's get his head right. Or on fa I follow, um, you know, the author Michael Rosen. I follow him on um, Facebook, and he he took he's taken a photograph of himself, and he said, "On this World Book Day, I'm all dressed up and ready to go as Michael Rosen, the author." You're going to do a parenting book. Yeah. Don't have any. That's a good <laughs> tip. That's not enough. <laughs> oh. Too late. <laughs> Too lots of little short lines it's quite fiddly but actually it does I used yeah I used the cotton bud to spread the brown they're obsessed with cotton buds in this group <laughs> and they're biodegradable so that's also good I've lost the end of his head I think Nose a little bit lighter, perhaps. Mm. 
There's a lot of white on them, isn't there? I wasn't... He's got like a peppered face, hasn't he, that cheek? It's very white. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm? I was saying I've only seen one in a distance and then he saw me and ran away. I've seen plenty of rabbits on the side of the on the grass verges in the evenings on my way in. I've seen one hare. I've seen one badger in real life. Yeah, no, it was cute. I was going for an evening stroll just before the sun was setting and I heard a rustle because I love but I'm obsessed with badgers. I've been obsessed with them since I was tiny. And, um, I heard a rustle and I saw just literally from you to me this young badger cub snuffling through the grass and I just froze and I thought let me sneak my phone out so I can take a photo because this is yeah I managed to and he was you know he, he knew he was safe enough away from me and I think yeah. he knew I wasn't going to hurt him um, so it was like only three to four minutes long yeah. but that made my life because yeah normally you only see them on the curbside not always had been hit by traffic sometimes they've been um, dropped there Kath's daughter um, helps out with the Nutkin ward and they've got a little baby badger that was attacked and um, separated from its mom that they're having to hand wean and um, help before they can re-release it it's such a sweet little it's called bluebell but um i never realized how noisy the baby badgers sound like birds they like chirrup really? yeah i never knew that ever we've got half an hour so I'm just doing little sections. A camel. So it's gone from a kangaroo to a camel. <laughs> is yours looking like a hair calf? Or is there anything else it could be? Um, it looks like a hair from here. It looks like a hair to be That's good. And, hair. and Christine, is yours looking less meerkat? It looks all right from here. Yeah. Shall I just stay here and look at it then? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rub it in more. Yes. Use your cotton bud and and really push it in. Because that, that also helps the um, the pencils sit on top. Because when when there's a thick layer of pastel, the pencils don't really work as well. What am I inflicting on? Are you both here next week, my two normal pastel goers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pat, um, Kath, you said we're, you, I've got you for the duration now, haven't I? Your carpet's all done now, though, isn't it? Yes, you've got no excuse. <laughs> uh, my carpet's done. And is it all lovely, and are you happy? I am, but the whole business completely stressed me out because we had everything done except one little bedroom. And you've got to do some other stuff. Well, Where'd you put it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm a maximalist. Um, so Not it's a all been a bit very I haven't got the stamina for all this sorting out. But anyway, it's done now. Good. We're finished putting it back together. And I'm very pleased with it. But as far as I'm concerned, that's it now. That's it. Absolutely. 
No. Oh, next week in pastels we're doing pink blossom, green grass, and long shadows. So that's what I'm inflicting on you next week. The green actually does help, or the darker tone underneath, it does darken the, the, the colour of the hair, which is nice. So whether you've got brown, green, or grey underneath, it will help. I'm going to say this is white furry chest. It is a fiddly one today. What pencil colours have you got, um, Marie? So you can, st when we get the pastel stands, you can come and stock up. Or we can post it out, but probably better for you to choose. I'm not on commission, by the way. If you've got a decent edge to your pastel, you can still you can use your edge of a pastel instead of a pastel pencil. Um, but it is it is fiddly. I'd forgotten you'd got such a long body. I've been working my way down, and I'm thinking, oh, nearly finished. Nearly finished. No. <laughs> Is there no, it's like the never ending body of a hair. I've got. Well, it's quite coarse, so slightly longer hair, fur, fur hair. It's all the same stuff anyway, it doesn't really matter. We've Googled that many times what's the difference between fur and hair. Yeah, and it's, it's, there's, there isn't any. The consensus is if it if it grows long, it's hair. If it covers a body, it's fur. No, I don't think so. I think it is just um, it's all keratin. keratin. What is the difference between a pigeon and a dove? Nothing. There isn't one. They're just a different colour. No. One's got a one's got a, a red a, a black one's ring one's around its neck, yeah. isn't it? So different. Oh really? Yeah. They look different. They do look different. So it's been bred to like some have been bred yeah. like to look different, but they're the same they're the same biologically. Cold blood. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is James Bond esque, isn't it? It is. It's just that one's more Pigeons do get a bad rep, don't they? Yeah. One day left and the other's be left. <laughs> They had, above, in Church Lane, there was a nest of pigeons, and I actually saw a baby pigeon. I'd never seen one before, because they're yeah. ugly, they're really ugly. A baby pigeon? Yeah, because Yorkshire's have held where we kept the stuff laundry, and we'd had nests all around, and then the baby birds, they were drawn on, had no idea. Oh. Word. No. Okay, I'll have, I'll have a Google. My Google search history is hilarious because, what do you call it? This? What's that? Um, Squab. Squab is a baby pigeon. Squab.
going to put a bit of black pastel down the back of his head and back because it is quite a bit darker and it's against the sun isn't it and that should help are, are your edges more defined now Kath once you good right <laughs> I'm glad I've been worried about your edges Yes. And then suddenly come back again. Yeah. But I think that's the thing, though. If you were doing it at home, the chances are it could have ended up in the bin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's it's pushing through, isn't it? And getting yeah, through definitely. that really difficult stage. I've got a really lovely picture this afternoon in the watercolour class. It's like a a cerulean blue butterfly on pink blossoms and it's all it's very ethereal and mm. nice i imagine it's going to be quite wet in wet yeah it's nice isn't it? it's getting the control back though isn't it sometimes it's a bit tricky Hard to see his paws, isn't it? In the last half hour, It never, it never ceases to amaze me how fast these lessons go. Who well, you do or I do? <laughs> no, I don't actually. I, I think if I had, if I won the lottery, I'd still do classes. I, I'd still have to do it. Eh? Huh? Yeah. It's a. Uh, it, Sometimes it doesn't always happen that way. If something happens down on the shop floor in between classes, yeah. then I have to sort that out. And I don't always eat. But I have a, a nice gluten-free pot noodle or something. I'm still not 100%, but no. a lot better. And also I've started, um, on Holland and Barrett's social media, they've been doing uh, gut exercises, like stretches. Oh, yeah. And I do that before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. Oh, nice. And I also have um, a mug of bone broth every evening, which is not bovril. It's powdered bone broth. Um, and that's supposed to be really good. If you have like a, uh, so two tablespoons in a mug, you can add it to your food if you want. It, it doesn't taste bone broth. bone broth. So like bovril used to be, yeah. but this is a powdered form. Um and it, it is expensive but they say if you can have a mug of that a day for a year it really does help repair a lot of problems with your guts what animal is it from? beef cow new zealand um i think you can't get any you can't get a british one and if if i did if well if i did it would probably be three times the price as the new zealand one which yeah. is frustrating because it's gone up it costs me about 30 pounds for 400 grams but that lasts nearly two months so to be honest it's only like 50p a day yeah. um so if i was buying a cup of coffee in a cafe every day it would cost me more wouldn't it yeah yeah so i have it when i have my evening meal and um it doesn't taste particularly pleasant but <laughs> You know, healing yourself isn't all about pleasantness, is it? Um, but it's it's all right. It'll do. So it's and and cutting back a lot of my favourite foods has has helped. 
no cauliflower, no onions, no garlic. It's all right. It is. No mushroom. It's good. But I do have onion powder, garlic powder, well, onion salt, garlic salt, yeah. and mushroom powder. So I can still get the flavour, which is important. So I'm not, I don't think you can ever fully recover, but um, it's, uh, it has made a big difference. I'm not doubled up in pain every day. I I've, I've still feel like I've been kicked in the stomach sometimes yeah. and bruised. Oh, absolutely, it does. Do you know, I think his tummy comes down a lot lower than I've drawn it. I think you do have to put in, a, in the effort to make it work for you, but... Um, I'm I'm I, I'm not a I'm not a foodie if you know what I mean. No. I, I I eat because I have to eat, and if I can eat food that tastes okay, but I could eat the same if if it's a meal I like, I could eat it every yeah. day. Yeah. So I I could have baked beans on toast every day, and I would be happy. I might have an egg or yeah. what have you, or mm. cottage pie, or you know I can. If that was the only me I I won't miss other food you know yeah. I, I just eat because I've got to eat um, I'm quite a bit boring in that way so you know going to a fancy restaurant wouldn't necessarily impress me because no. I, I probably couldn't eat most of it anyway now yeah Well, yeah, well, this is it. The best egg, it should be the best egg and chips you ever had. No, I'm very, I'm very simple. We never had fancy food growing up, really. Really? My mum did used to make lasagna, but my dad wouldn't eat it. Um, and he, he he loved spaghetti bolognese, but he wouldn't like pasta. And I used to say, Dad, spaghetti bolognese is shredded lasagna. It's the same thing. Well, the only olive oil you got was in boots for your ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. around his belly. Well, his, his, his leg, his thigh nearly split and then his belly off. His thigh, I found, is quite a bit lower down than I'd drawn it. There's more of a gap between his elbow and the top of his thigh. I mean, we'd never seen stuffed olives or any olives no. in Dudley. And we used to carve a swede instead of a pumpkin. When I was a kid in the 80s. Yeah, but the mum said it's good, that's what the mum used to say. I'm, I'm also doing this for you from work every day, not just for you. Oh, really? We have grey peas in the black country. Grey peas and grouty pudding. No, I don't know. My, my hair's looking a bit annoyed. Like really put Can out. Yeah, he's a bit put out. Oh yeah, yeah, it's over there. It's got ER on it. Yeah, that's the one. It will obviously be the best one.
hopefully once I've now I think I've worked out where his belly and everything is oh everybody did a cracking job last week with the with the reflections wasn't it wasn't everybody's pieces that they posted amazing the, it was the it was the coast with the reflections and the clouds last last Thursday's pastel class remember Have you paid? <laughs> well, I don't care. <laughs> you, you can't. You, you may have gathered. You can't really offend me. You might care because I might know people. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm going to put some um, pictures up on the thing. He needs a lot. He needs a lot of it, doesn't he? Probably about six seven inches long grass <laughs> to cover cover the whole thing up he does look really oh do you know what i'll have to put his um his whiskers let me let me go back up and stick a, a few whiskers in if i can get it thin enough Whiskers do make an interesting addition, actually. I didn't, I didn't think it would make that much difference, but just it, it just makes his face more like what I'm expecting. I'm really going to look forward to seeing all of your pieces of. You can't get too good, Kath, because otherwise I don't think there's much fear I'm going to get you teaching the class. getting that really quite dark bit in his on his back I think it's the, the contrast against the light front maybe I need to go in with a bit more a bit more black I actually think his whiskers are longer than that because they come almost down to the top of his arms, some of them. What, doing this? Yeah. Is it is it because it's it's repetitive, do you think, where it's a lot of... And this is a big one, isn't it? It's it's filling the whole page. If, we've, if we'd have done it as a little air, you wouldn't have noticed it so much, yeah. I suppose. But it is it's a it is a fiddly a fiddly one. I've already forgotten what I told you next week's was. What was it? Blossom. Blossom. See, we're into springtime now. For now, for now. Do you not like doing snow? <laughs> Are you done?
white. Yeah, I've used white. Do you need me to sharpen your pencil? Yeah, I do. That'll just be a green screen. Well, I know how to treat a lady. You do. You do. You've gotten good with a sharp pencil. I know. You're away. He looks like a hare. Oh, Marie says hair now has a beard. <laughs> a bearded hair. If in doubt, just shove loads of grass in front of him. But look how tall that grass is, actually. That, that little bottom bit. Yeah. It is some... Um, You might find that you need an actual, um, the pastel to go over his body, perhaps. I might do a bit darker in, in between. Been a, a very different one to what we've done at all, isn't it? Really, I don't think we've done anything like this. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm saying no. <laughs> Is it a different one? I'm sure it will be a different one. Although, often I don't bank on the Monday people and the other week people colliding. So let me just double check. Oh no, a different hair. Have you ruined? Well, is yeah. This is this is gonna be Monday. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Wow. Isn't it? Good pencil. Lovely. Yeah. So it's a, a totally different feeling. It'll feel like a different. Well, it is. It is different medium as well. So yeah. it should feel a bit different. Oh yeah. yeah I've got a thing now because I use the um, the car park on the old auctioneer. Oh yeah. And I've I've had the app for a while, so I just pay by the app, which is a little bit more expensive, but it means I haven't got to carry cash around. But they've now set up a thing where you um, I can't remember the name of it, but basically, because they've all got the cameras that identify your registration oh, number, oh, yeah. so I pull in, I don't even pay now, and they, they just take the money out for however long I've been there. That's good, Automated, it? yeah, so it's, but it did worry me the first time, I thought, yeah, what yeah. what if it hasn't worked, am I going to get a fine? But no, they did it. I'm doing a few longer ones with a few little dots on the top of the grass, so it looks like it could be a seed head or you know summit <laughs> you need more grass in front of I it do. <laughs> <laughs> Turner couldn't paint hands you know so he used to always have hands if he did figures they'd all have hands behind their backs or in their pockets um, yeah, they always have it behind. yeah 
Even cartoonists. The cartoonist has. Yeah. Three fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all cartoon characters, three fingers. Except I think in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the dwarfs have three fingers and a thumb, but Snow White has four fingers and a thumb to show she's human. But in The Simpsons, all characters have three fingers and a thumb, except for the character of God when he appears and he has four fingers and a thumb. I'm full of rubbish, aren't I? Oh, yeah, you've got to go, haven't you? I've added a bit of ochre in the grass as well, just to, to balance balance it out. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice. Do you need a bit of fixative on that, V? Sure. The grass at the bottom does make make it feel a bit sunnier and different. I haven't put all of those big shadows on him. It's your white one. That's it. Have you enjoyed yourself, Christine? I have. Good. No, uh, that is the difference because on Monday mornings at Wardington, it's a 45 minute demo yeah, and then yeah. you're left to, to do your own thing. So sometimes it can be a bit, what did he say? How did he do this? But at least with this one, this t style, but it's nice to have a different style of teaching. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. I think you have. Yeah. It's just it's just enough to cover him up enough, isn't it? You just need to Yeah, you pay for the class uh, in my shop and you pay for the coffee in the cafe. Can I your cups out? Of course you can, I'll sort your cups right, see out. See you ladies again, that's nice. See you next week, oh, Can you hear next week? Yes, I hope so. I'm fiddling, I think. Oh, that's very kind. But you've done fur before, haven't you? I like fur. That's okay. That's nice. Thank, Thank you, I'll see you. About the <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> Bye. I think we went to Stuart this morning and I was going there so I didn't want to just do this whole big car park that was full. No. But, but he says usually about this time you're all right getting in round the back of the Yeah. Yeah, early mornings is, is, is okay. It does fill up, but you should be okay this time of day. Do you, do you drive in, Kath, or do you walk in? It's, um, a bit, it's a bit of a trek from yours, isn't it? Yeah, Alan usually gives me a lift. Ah. Um, but I like to walk back. Do you? Yeah. That's very commendable. Yeah, 
I think I think he's done. Oh, what a nice varied week of lessons so far. Mine don't look finished enough for my feet. I think I've I, I skipped through them hoping that the graph would cover it all. Yeah. They're in there somewhere. So you online have you enjoyed it this morning? It is a fiddly, a fiddle, a fiddly challenge. Oh, Marie. Oh, Kate thinks she's done. Oh, excellent, Kate. I'll just let you know what's coming up this week, or over the next week. This afternoon is watercolours, and it's um, oh, blue butterfly and pink blossom. Tomorrow afternoon is a snowy stroll with a style in watercolour. Saturday morning, it is our monthly free demo live on Facebook and in the classroom, and we're doing boxing hairs in gouache. Monday morning from Wardington is a hair in pencil. Monday evening is a landscape with a mid-distant church in watercolour. Tuesday afternoon's acrylic class is a snowy mountain and a, a cosmic sky with stars and cosmos galaxy. Wednesday morning's gouache class is a flower still life. Wednesday afternoon's drawing class is a view of Charlcote Park, Park through house through an archway. Did you see that um, picture that I put up, Kat? of what it is next week for the drawing class with Charlcote Park through an arch. No. no, it's not as scary as it sounds. Not lots of uh, perspective. And then next Thursday's pastel is a pink blossom, green grass and long shadows. So lots of exciting things to do. Oh good. Don't give up the day job, Marie. Oh, I'm sure it looks like you're um, the one you posted where you were talking about the contrast last week Marie it was absolutely gorgeous the um the pastel I think you all do so much better than you give yourself credit for I really do so for you online I will say thank you very much and goodbye have a really good weekend hard to believe we are now in March <sighs> and we're already on the third so um have a good weekend take care stay safe and I'll see you all soon bye bye everybody bye bye <laughs>